Good morning, guys. Once again, we've had an issue with the camera. <laughs> As in, we do this every week. <laughs> every I think there's something wrong every with the camera. Every single week. It's like, this doesn't seem right, but it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> this week, Eric and I talking. He's oh. reviewing his watch. Huawei. What's it Watch. called? The Huawei GT Watch 2. Which is... One more than my old one, which you can't see because it's far away. There <laughs> so, before this video gets started, make sure you subscribe down below and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And the links will be at the end. Um, oh my god, every single week. And the links will be at the end on the end card and in the description. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you would have thought you'd get this, but I know. Right, go then. <coughs> Oh, you can always ask some questions about stuff. <laughs> Obviously, let's zoom in. Obviously, this is Huawei GT Watch 1. Come on, focus. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, I think it is. That's good. That's easy. There we go. Obviously, that, that is the time we're recording. <laughs> yeah, it sees your face and it focuses on your face. Yeah. Obviously, this is them. The GT Watch 2. Come on. There you go. Good enough anyway. Right, there you go. So obviously they're identical, but not now I'm being to focus on this now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a long video. <laughs> obviously the screen sizes are slightly different. Whatever. Well I, I can tell you the exact screen sizes, so just give me a second. So both of them are 46. Yeah, you, would, you would have thought you'd done the three steps before. I did, but I can't remember. <laughs> I don't want to give the wrong date. <laughs> Obviously, both of them are the 46 millimeter version, just because I like the slightly bigger watches and they tend to have a bit more features. The what the GT, the, the original one, has a 1.39 millimeter AMO LED 4x4x454 HD. Well, the GT Watch 2, um, which I've now lost, okay, has a 1.39 inch. Well, apparently, it's got the exact same size screen. It doesn't look No, good. it's not. That is definitely bigger. According to the specs, it's definitely the same, bigger. Same size screen, which is weird, because it doesn't look that way in real life. So, I'm a bit confused about that, but apparently, that's what it is. Um, obviously they both support uh, GPS, which is quite useful if you're going out on a run. Um, I say they both, even though they look like they've both got the exact same sensors, the old one doesn't do SPO2 or stress measurements, but the new one does, even though, like I say, they're, they're identical looking sensors on the back and obviously you can't get it to focus, but there we are. In terms of weight, the GT Watch 2 is 5 grams lighter, without straps, compared to the GT, which is weird because it has twice the battery life. So unless they manage to shrink down all the other components. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's also got a microphone and a speaker compared to the old one, which was just vibration. Um, and obviously, me and you have checked out uh, calling it calls through the watch. Um, like you use your phone network, but it uses like the microphone and the speakers in the watch, which was quite a surprise because I, I didn't think it would have a, 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 a microphone. <laughs> no. I like, I'm going to try this, and he obviously declined it straight away. I thought, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think the chipsets are slightly different. Uh, but obviously, I can't. I don't can't find the exact details of what chipset is which. Unfortunately, <laughs> I did try and find it. But the watch straps are interchangeable, and I believe they can also be used like you can use other watches, uh, watch straps like it's just a standardised 22 um, 22 L. I think you get 22 M's as well. I think just the length difference. But, um, so I, I prefer the the newer material. Like it just feels probably a bit a bit stiffer compared to the old one. What do you think? Like it just yeah, it will, because that one's older, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't remember it feeling that rough to begin with, but we'll find out soon, soon enough. 
Um, obviously the old one you could use with Watch uh, Wear OS, um, but the new one you can't, which, which is, uh, like I say, just because Huawei just I think, broke away and they want to use their own system, which I think that's why they probably make it more efficient on battery and everything, because it doesn't have to do all the other random features. Um, Obviously, these this what DT Watch Two is more heavily based around work, like people, health and fitness kind of people. Uh, I think there is a DT Watch Two Classic, I think it is, something like, which is more for the business man, but still has the abilities. Obviously, the forty-two millimeter version doesn't have all the sensors in it uh, compared to the forty-six. Well, that's the same for both watches, GT and GT Watch Two. Does it have Android Pay? No, it won't have Android Pay, but that's a stupid question. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, you're allowed to ask questions. <laughs> um, but that's a stupid question. <laughs> they are both water rated. Um, the 5 ATM rated water. That seems weird. But, uh, Water resistance rating of 50 meters under the ISO standard 22810 and then 2010. Which means they may be used in shallow water like swimming in a pool, however they shouldn't be used for scuba diving. I saw what you did. <laughs> <laughs> well you always do it to me. That is true. I make sure you don't notice until you're editing it. <laughs> they both use the exact same charger as well. I'm looking right at you, you should do it. <laughs> Use the both exact same charger, which is not a wireless one, it's like a two pronged. Good fitting. I'm sure I'm going to get a bag and I can't be honest, but it's like a, it's not wireless, it's like a two pronged thing, but it does use USB C for the cable, which is quite, quite nice, yes. So obviously, like with most things nowadays, it does not come with a power brick. I think that's just Apple, to be honest. Hmm? I think that's just Apple and a Huawei. <laughs> <laughs> most, most things nowadays tend to be like, oh, you don't need one, you've got loads of power. Until so the fact, if you're a new person, like... Like when I get an iPhone, I don't have a... Well, I do, I use... I do, that's the lie, but... Like, you, you have to spend money then to, to get a proper charger, even mm. if it's your first... Like you're changing from Android to. Uh, anyway, that's, that, a, that's a story for another. That another. when I get my Apple Watch. It's a, it's a story for another video. That when I get my Apple Watch. It's a story for another video. Um, Eventually. It's a story for another video. When I get iPhone 12, the same. Sorry, carry on. I'm going to edit this video. Make sure you cut now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you completely throw me off the video now, aren't Good. Because it's railroaded. How do you feel, Eric? It's annoying, isn't it? I don't often knock you off thing like that. Yes, you do all the time. No. Um. Yeah, the watch life is... I should just do some video by myself. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eric and Sean channel. So. <laughs> Two weeks for the new one, even though I believe it's meant to be slightly longer than that. It just gets a brand new one. And then one week for the old one. No, it does, it does seem to actually last up. It's been over a year old and it does still last over a week, which is quite compressive, because usually you expect it to be mm. decreased. But no, it's quite, quite nice. Obviously I've only had this for a day, so I haven't been able to test the new battery ratings yet. Uh, but it charges quite quickly actually, surprisingly. Oh, it's got intelligent heartbeat sensing as well, so when you're doing activities it, it speeds up the rate, it takes samples of your heart rate. Sorry about that, the camera did a weird recording thing. I just realised I'm filming in 4K. Um, <laughs> great, they can see it out of focus in 4K. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, smart heart recording, so obviously as you do things, it increases the samples per second uh, and then decreases when you're, you're sort of sat around doing nothing. Or when it's not even on your arm like at this moment in time, it's not actually recording anything. Um, it's also got true sleep monitoring as well, so I'm not sure what the difference is between the old and the new version, but it seemed to work, so yeah, it works. <laughs> Can it do an ECG? Can it do a... Uh, uh, you have to 
You have to remind me what an ETG stands for. It sounds familiar, but I can't think of it. ETG. I don't actually know what it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> Something to do with the heart. <laughs> <laughs> it does SCO2, which is your oxygen levels. It does a stress, which I think uses your heart rate. So obviously, it does heart rate. It does GPS, does accelerometer. See, it sounds familiar, but I can't think what it is. I know the Apple Watch does it, that's why I asked. ECG. Oh. Electrocardiogram. Some tests that use check your heart with my electrocardiogram. Some tests that use skin to detect electrical. It's like about this. Some tests that detect electrical signal produced by heart. You can't be a quarter machine. If you're unusual, cardiac makes a problem with your heart, including. I don't know. <laughs> How is that any different than a heart, just a heart rate check? I don't know. I can't answer that question because I'm not quite sure what exactly is required. I think it's the way they put the stickers on your chest. Yeah. But I mean, like, how, how, how can that be implemented a watch. into a watch? I know, that's a good point. Because the, S the SPO2 measurement is meant to measure from one side of your finger to the other side. Obviously on a watch you can't quite do that, so it measures your the rebound rate, but it's good enough for quick measurement. When we get an Apple Watch, we'll find out. It might just be like, yep, this this is your heart rate. Yeah, probably. Like, nice to know. How is that any different to anything else? <laughs> um, uh, measures pressure as well in the air. <laughs> um, I think I might have run out of stuff to say. So, is there any, any other questions you can think of? Um, no. Yeah. Oh, well, that's my favourite. So the end. So the so the so the old one works with Wear OS. It says it's, it works with Wear OS, even though because I've got a Huawei phone, I don't use it. I'm just reading what it says on the Huawei website. <laughs> um, so it should work with Samsung's and everything, but I, I'm not sure if you lose any functionality because of it, because I haven't been able to test it. So. Probably. Because you, you should, should still get like your heart rate and everything, so it should, mm. should come through. And I've got his uh, Gear S3 Frontiers. Temporarily, yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, till I. I'm not going to say it again. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and if there any other social sites I missed out. No. And, uh, okay, that's all. Thank you all for watching. Go and watch our London vlog. No, my London vlog. That was, I was out last say, week. Your London vlog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where we just said camera in real life situations. And yes. I, can't, I, I can't remember how to find the. Uh, I hope you're wearing your whack mask all the time. I will find them. I haven't actually watched the vlog at all. Bad friend. Okay. You're watching.